lot of the boys on this team, my senior class was one of the reasons why I wanted to come back. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the, the bonds that I created with them, and, uh, just leaving them behind like that, I didn't think it was the right thing to do. Plus, I think the state deserves a winning, a winning season. Uh, I didn't want to leave with that uh, three and nine uh, record in my mouth, so I wanted to do whatever I could to help this program, help this state. I think the main thing we have to do is just buy in to this new program. Um, as long as the players know how to adapt to a new scheme, um, we'll be fine. Um, the biggest thing is that we have to do as a technique is learn how to tackle better. Um, we made a lot of missed tackles last year, so we want to improve that and just uh, make sure that we secure our tackles and just win that battle against that one-on-one -on -one, uh, against uh, that runner. I think that a lot of the boys are doing their best to perfect their craft and just take down every little detail and technique that our coaches teach. I think my individual goals are just helping the team. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to do whatever I can just to help this team, uh, whether it's uh, help the younger guys uh, adapt and learn a uh, new scheme or just uh, just being a good teammate, of course. But um, mm -hmm. other than that, I want to make sure that I, um, I also like practice on tackling as well because I had a few missed tackles last year. But, um, other than that, I just want to be better than uh, yesterday. Uh, better than the day before, I just want to be better every day so I can uh, get close to the great linebackers that mm -hmm. I have as role models. Uh, so my younger brother, Justice Tavai, is coming in as a sophomore. Uh, he'll be playing D-line. Um, he's much bigger than I am. Actually, all my brothers are bigger than He's excited as well, but he's there's something about him that really motivates me to just make sure that I'm doing my best. So if he sees me doing that, it's just going to be a domino effect for him. Mm -hmm. But uh, he brings a lot of juice to the table. Well, my favorite players from the start were my older brothers, mm -hmm. Jordan and JR. Um, they really like set the tone for me and like, my younger siblings. But um, the more you look into the league, uh, and just like in college, I had a, uh, there was a guy at SC, uh, Raymond Luga. He was a big, big time like role model, like just someone I wanted to watch and like really imitate. And then Troy Paul was one of my favorite students. He knew, he was just a ball hawk. He knew where to be at the right place at the right time to make that turnover. So I want to have that instinct that he has. And then, I mean, you can't go wrong with Ray Lewis because he's such a great vocal leader like motivational leader and just, I mean, he does the right thing like at the right time. So um, if I can like take little bits and pieces from all three of those guys, I mean, hopefully I can make one of those greats. I mean, rugby is an intense sport. And you have to really have that mentality that you gotta be that bad dude on that field. If you don't, then you either get run over or um, someone's gonna just break your tie with everything. That game's like fun as well because during the game you guys have that hostility and just um, anger against the other team after the game. You just you go have like a few drinks with them where you just it's just such a great like um, great gentleman game. But I'd have to say rugby is more intense. So um, I'm trying to work into into this foster care agency. Uh, so hopefully if that works out or not. But um, my plan B after that is either become a teacher or uh, high school counselor. I'm trying to give back to the community. Uh, just share some insight about how it was. Just a lot of people need that uh, motivation and that one person that can help with their life.